What's up guys? It's been a little while. Uh, I've been crazy, crazy busy the last couple of weeks and I uh, just, I can't film and make videos when we're this busy. So um, spring rush came really early this year. Uh, it's what, the 12th of April today um, and we're cranking. So we're way ahead of schedule. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my last videos, but I had two of my guys leave. So there's only three of us right now. So um, normally we have four or five. Um, good news is I have a new kid starting at the end of next week. So I'll have uh, another guy, but we're still really shorthanded. So we're grinding. Um, so this video, um, I just want to try to make a few videos this spring. Um, it's going to be really tough for me to, to make these videos. I'm going to be completely 100% honest. Um, we're working, you know, 10, 12 hour days already. Uh, it's only gonna get worse so uh today's project what we're doing is we are gonna do a pool liner a 21 foot round above ground pool liner then we're gonna go remove a pool uh 27 foot above ground and we're gonna build a new one that's technically tomorrow but we're gonna start it today so got a lot going on today um i also have a service call i gotta do this morning so we're all loaded up ready to go um i'll show you the process when we do liners and stuff we bring these tanks we fill them with water while we're working then we pump that water into the pool to set the liner um, we can't fit the trailer where we're going, so I actually got to disconnect this. Uh, we're just going to bring the dump truck and uh, the van and the white truck. So, the three white vehicles. Uh, trailer will go with us tomorrow to the install. I just can't fit it where we're going. It's a dead end road and there's nowhere to turn around. So, uh, I'm waiting for the boys. They should be here shortly. It's uh, about 6.45. Beautiful weather. Yeah, I think the weather's been absolutely beautiful. Um, yesterday was 75. Today's supposed to be 85. Tomorrow's supposed to be almost 90. So... Um, that's also what's driving the start of the season a lot earlier. Uh, last year at this time, we had only done like one or two projects. Uh, at this point, we've already done about 10 to 15 pool openings. A lot of big projects have been done. Um, I don't know the exact total, but we've done <laughs> we, we've done well. Uh, we've been really cranking along. So that's making up for not having a good snow winter this year. So uh, one good positive, um, just kind of got thrown right into it. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, barely had time to even get the snow equipment put away and go right to pools, uh, speaking of that stuff. Everything's away for the winter. I got the boss spreader up on the roof. Plows are all tucked in over here. Um, our snow stakes salt. Everything's kind of tucked over here for now. Um, skid steer. The other skid steer is not here. It's on a job. Um, and uh, the trailer, the skid steer trailer is not here. It's on a job. All right, so we're at the liner job. The guys, I just got here. They already had the liner pretty much in. So what we do is we bring our two tanks of water we fill them while we're working. That gives us about 500 gallons of water. And then we pump this into the pool to set the liner. So if, you'll see when I get back there, the vacuum's on right now, pulling out all the wrinkles. And then this gets about two and three inches of water in the pool and it sets the liner. get away from the vacuum so you can hear me so get the liner in anytime we're done with the liner we put the vacuum on and what that does is sucks all the air out from behind the liner pulls it tight gets all the wrinkles out and then we start filling it so they're just cutting the skimmer in real quick put the return on and we're out of here about three hours start to finish uh, they did most of it when I wasn't here doing a service call So here's our next project. Just got here, unloading the truck. This pool's coming down. As you can see, the pool has a lot of corrosion. This thing's old, very old. It's a 27 foot round above ground pool. And we're putting a 27 foot round above ground pool back in its place. So we're gonna take this pool down today, get the ground all prepped, which we, fingers crossed, shouldn't have to do too much. Everything hopefully, all the bricks and supports should line up, hopefully. <laughs> um, if that doesn't, obviously we're just gonna set the bricks. Um, so the plan is to get this one down, the base all set, tracks in for the new pool, start pre-assembling the new pool, and we'll come back tomorrow and uh, finish it. Um, it's about, what's it? 1.30 in the afternoon, give or take. Um, so we're not gonna kill ourselves and get this all done today. 
It's about 85, 86 degrees out. So it's our first warm day. It's the first day where it's been actually hot. So we're not looking to die today. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be just as warm, close to 90. So um, we're just still getting used to the heat. You can say all you want, we're, uh, we're northerners. <laughs> But this should go pretty smooth. We should be uh, out of here by tomorrow afternoon, have a brand new pool in place. Um, job this one went well. We were done there by about noontime. Took about three and a half hours. Um, they did most of it. I was at a service call and I finished it up with them. So all in all, pretty productive day so far. I'm gonna try to film this whole process. I don't have the other cameras with me, so bear with me. Moving along real good with this uh, removal. Got the liner out already, got the tops off. We're just gonna break down the wall real quick. Get out of the way, and then we'll start prepping the base. Guys, making real quick work. Been here for about 25 minutes. Pool's just about down. They're cutting it up into sections, and then we're just gonna break apart the supports, fold these walls into pieces, put it aside for now. We're gonna take a trash run first with the liner, and then tomorrow we'll haul out all the metal. Yesterday we got the old pool down, and we got the tracking set for the outer perimeter. Uh, we gotta set all the bricks, level them, shoot the grade and uh the middle's a little bold out so we're gonna bring in uh about a yard or two of sand get that base set get the pool up so we should be done by uh hopefully early afternoon we'll see it's supposed to be another really hot day today uh, about 90 degrees so uh yeah so we'll uh gonna get all the stuff out of the trailer uh one guy is in the dump truck getting sand and the other's doing a quick service call so we'll uh we'll be rocking and rolling pretty quick here I'm gonna show you how to build an above ground pool step by step. Step one. So this is a replacement pool, but if it was not, you have to get the ground completely 100% level. So this being a replacement, the ground's already level, sand's already there. So what we're doing now is we're setting the track. So what we gotta do this is a 27 foot pool. So we have the center marked out right here. We're building off the deck. So we got this section started first, measured 13 and a half on our center. And then we're coming out here to the track and we're taking the tape and we're just going along and making sure it's 13 foot 6 inches all around at every single track. So we do that along the whole entire pool. And what we do is we put a little like a stake to hold it in place so it can't move. So once we get it at 13 foot 6, it's set. And do that around the entire pool. 13 foot 6. All the way around, that gets your circle. We also painted the line out so you can see that in orange. That's the perimeter. Next up after that, we have to set the blocks. The blocks go underneath every single upright. So you see these ones are done. But they go right underneath every single upright. That's what the guys are doing right now. They have to be completely 100% level. So they got the grades stick out. We got the laser level. So what they're doing is they're shooting the grade, making sure it's level, and they're also checking it with a level by hand as well. How are you? And once you go around the entire pool, you get every single brick in. I think this pool's got about 16 of them. So, got to level all 16 bricks. Then, you can start building everything else. So that will be the next step. So we're gonna work on this for a little bit. This usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour, give or take, hopefully quicker. Once this is done, uh, we gotta bring a little bit more sand in that's in the truck. Um, it's a little low in some spots. Gotta clean up some rough spots and then we'll start building the pool. So that's the main step. If you do not set your base, you know, and get that, not, you know, if it's not level, your whole pool's off. The base is the most critical part to any type of pool, above ground, in ground, fiber, glass, you name it. If your base is not level, your pool's not gonna be level. Especially with an above ground pool, even if it's one or two inches off level, the pool's gonna be tilted. You know, a 27 foot pool like this has, you know, 15, 16,000 gallons of water and that's a lot of weight. That will actually literally, could literally take the whole pool out. So it is critical that you get the base completely level. Uh, what we use is a laser level. So this is just your ordinary, you can get this at, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or any of those stores. It's just a self-leveling laser level. He's got the grade stick. And like I said, we also check it with a regular level to check the bricks. Um, it's critical to have the base level. I cannot stress that enough because if it's not and you don't double check your work after The entire pool is gonna be off. So We'll work on this for a little bit and we'll be back with the next step Okay, so the next step of the process we got all the bricks in level now We're just leveling the base out to the same grade the original pool had a little bit of a bold middle 
So we're gonna have to bring the grade up quite a bit. We're taking out some of the crap dirt that has rock in it. They're getting rid of that. We got some brand new material in the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot grade. The bricks level, we just double check them with a the laser. Good. Good. Good, so you get the idea. You go around the entire perimeter, check them all. And then we wanna check the grade on this base. So we want the grade to pretty much match the bricks, if not be a little bit lower. So we're gonna, we're working on grading it out right now. Uh, this is all a little bit high, but we're within like a half inch. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna grade off the base. I'll get that all set. The middle's gonna have to come up quite a bit. You see, we're pretty low. So we're gonna grade off everything, get it all level, packed in, compact it, and then top dress it. That's the game plan right now. Then we start building the pool. So we're just leveling off the middle now, bringing in some material. Uh, this original pool had a bold out middle, but you wanna make sure that if you don't have an expandable liner, that the entire grade is completely level across. So that's what we're doing here. We're building the middle back up. We're gonna level it off manually first, get this plate compactor out, pack it all in, check for low spots, hit it with the grade rod again, and we should be uh, building this pool shortly. Anytime you're building a pool too, you wanna use a very fine sand material. This is actually, uh, I'm not sure what they did, brick sand or concrete sand, mason sand, they all have different names, but you don't wanna use sand that has rocks in it. Uh, this stuff's perfect for what we do, it packs well. Um, the other key is make sure it's wet. Uh, so what we're gonna end up probably doing is getting the hose out shortly, spray the base down, the wetter the base, the better it's gonna compact. Uh, a couple tricks of the trade. So um, that's what we're doing here. If this was a new pool, you'd have your base already set, you know, from the excavation, then you'd put two to three inches of sand on top of that base, and then you'd grade that off. So as you see, he's checking with the grade rod. That might be off. <laughs> Um, he's checking it with a grade rod just to make sure we're pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact, but within an inch or so. Uh, that way the water level's not, you know, crooked. So, should be in pretty good shape. We just have to really fill just the middle section. And obviously don't lose your center point. Uh, we still got that. You're going to need that for when the tracks go back in. I know I'm probably going quick with this. We, uh, we build these pools quite often, so... But just kind of wanted to do a step-by-step -step video how an above-ground pool is built. Uh, we're doing this with three guys today, myself included. Uh, normally, we do this with, you know, four or five, make it go a little easier. If you're building the pool yourself, you definitely want hands. <laughs> uh, we can do these pools in a day, no problem. But, you know, if it was a homeowner or someone doing this as a weekend project, you're going to want a couple days. So, um, we also have a lot of experience between all of us, so we can do it real quick. So final step before we put the wall in, we're plate compacting. Uh, that's going to get a nice hard base. See this is already compacted. Give us a nice hard base. We're grading off the bricks. So essentially you want the same grade as the bricks all the way out. All the way across. And then what we're going to do, he's going to plate compact and then we'll touch up any high or low spots afterwards. And uh, we might need a little bit more sand, but we're in really good shape. It's always good to keep the sand wet too. We just wet it down, um, get some moisture in it, it'll pack better. All right, so we're at the point we're putting the wall in. Uh, the wall is one giant rolled piece, so it is a little bit of a pain. What we do is we roll it all out, put it in each track and start building the pool as we go. You do gotta make sure the base is exactly the size of the pool. So this base is 27 feet. We got it staked off so it can't move. That way you won't have any extra wall or it won't be too short. So we got the pool wall up. Last step is to make the cove. It's so basically the sand banking where the wall and the floor meets. And then just go over the base one more time, just make sure it's all flat. And then we'll put the liner in. Uh, we also like to put the top on just to make sure everything lines up. Just get it set. Um, just to make sure everything on the pool lines up. And it did. So we just got to do the liner and we're good to go. So this is the final step of the install process, putting in the liner. So we're building the pool as we go, hanging the liner over, making sure the overhang's the same all around, and then uh, putting the pool back together at the end, and then we'll get the back and go once we get the whole entire liner in. So we're really making good progress. And now the final stage, fill your pool. 
So what we do is we have two 300 gallon tanks that we fill while we're working. And then we pump the water in while the vacuum's on, gets the liner set, and then uh, we'll fill it the rest of the way. All right, that's a wrap. Pool is built. We just put the skimmer on real quick and we're out of here. Got all the tops on, re-landscaped around the outer perimeter, put the rock back. Um, they just gotta fill it, hook up the filter system eventually, and uh, they'll be all set to go. So, came out awesome, looks really good. Do a quick walk around real quick. David's just building the skimmer. We'll get that on the wall. Looks good. That's a good angle of it. That's gonna be it for this video, it for this week. Really hot day, I'm exhausted. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> Worked, uh, what, a 14 hour day. And I've been up since about five o'clock, so I'm exhausted. But this, it's, it's final product. Just gotta fill and all those wrinkles are gonna push right out. Pool looks awesome. Very, very happy. And we did it with three guys, normally we do it with five. So uh, definitely a little challenging, but we got it done. And it was 95 today, it was hot. So that's gonna be it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.